vlogging because today is technically moving day, but it's not moving day. So it's Thursday. I work a half a day and I'm off for the rest of the day, off tomorrow and throughout the weekend. And today I'm going to up, up, upload. <laughs> I'm going to load my U-Haul up tonight and be ready to move in tomorrow. Again, I'm not purchasing this house. I'm not. This is not anything that's like, I mean, it's a big milestone in my life because God allowed me to still have a roof over my head. Uh, a little backstory, when me and my wife moved into our last house, we were renting and our landlord died like three weeks after us moving in and his kids took over the property and they pretty much sold the house. They said, either you can buy it or we'll sell it to somebody else. My wife had just had Bryson. This was in 2020. And he was a week old when we moved out of that house. We ended up moving with my wife's mama in law for three months. And. Daddy. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. We ended up moving into the house with my mama in law. And we stayed there for three months. And then we moved to where we currently are moving from. We actually lived there for three years. When I first moved there, we signed a six month lease because my intention has always been to buy. And the six month lease ran out. I went ahead and renewed it for a year and here we are. So, got the pre-approval from the bank and everything to buy a house and got a good amount approved. But because of the state of the economy, Daddy. the interest rates and the mortgages is not something I'm willing to pay. So, I'm not going to say this has been a humbling experience because I'm never anybody that thinks that I'm more than what I am, but this has really been an eye-opening experience for me because when you think of like that American dream, you think about being able to work hard, get a family, and get a house. And I'm 32 years old now, and I really wanted to have a house by the time I was 30. I mean, you know how you map out your own life. I really wanted to have a house by the time I was 30. But... God has other plans for me and I'm like even with this situation like it's a double wide and if you're not familiar with a double wide it's a manufacturer home that they build in the factory and they take it to their location so it's been in this spot for 20 years it's been completely gutted remodeled has all of the updates and fixtures so it don't even look like that and it's 2,500 square feet four bedrooms two baths living room den dining room fireplace I mean it's, it's got all the bells and whistles that I am thankful for so like I'm saying I'm saying it to say this I it's been an eye opener I'm thankful for what, what God has me where he's taking me and I know this is just all a part of his plan we devise our own plan but at the end of the day God always is the one who makes it happen so yeah with me. This is my nephew, this is my niece, and then my kids. We're going to get us something to eat, y'all. I met my wife for lunch with the kids. Thank you. And ate like a dog. Let me flip this around so y'all can see the kids cutting up. Is the light on on the camera? Or what? Let me see what he said. Because I know I would have told him I would have got back. Y'all check out my YouTube page. Shout it out. Hey, what is it? The Fox Bar, man. I changed it. Oh. Go check out my YouTube page. I'll find it and link it. Liquid Gold FX. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Liquid Gold FX. Follow me. I'm going to be talking about trade and monetary. Things on there. I have my trade on there, trading for it. He make a lot of money, y'all. Uh, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm so tired, y'all. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know I'm gonna hire help when I do when I move because I can do it. But when I think about it, I am now 32 years old. And the last time I had to move, I was 29. 
in the time prior to that 26 or 7 and then probably to that 22 or 23. I don't be just doing a whole lot of moving because I have to. I do a lot of moving because I choose to. And me and my wife was just having a conversation the other day. Uh, I'm glad. That one need to be clean. My kids. Daddy, I'm Okay. I'm glad that me moving is because I'm moving to a bigger place or to somewhere where my people, where my people, <laughs> where my family can have a roof over their head, so. And a bigger place, so. I'm just thankful, so. I'm waiting on Bryson to get his hair cut, then TJ's getting his hair cut, and after that, I gotta go by the church and get a dollar because I like to use dollars when I move. And then, I really need to get, a, I need one more box. And then, I um, pulled the kids' clothes out of the dresser last night with so many clothes, so I need to get that. Daddy. Then I got to get the clothes out of the closet. It's just Daddy. a lot going on, but we're going to make it work. I'm not complaining. Daddy. Yo, I done went and got this dog on U-Haul, and this something going to bounce like a basketball. <laughs> I hope it don't do that when I load my stuff up, because I got glass stuff, and my furniture been, a, been a got to jumping around back there and broke. I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on. We're going to see how I do when I load it up. I'm headed to the store. Why am I hollering? I'm headed to the storage now with my little brother to um to start loading up my stuff in the storage. I'm so glad to get that stuff out of my storage because that's my event storage. And the only thing I had in there was a couch at first when I had my old two units. When I moved into this unit, I knew it was going to be temporary to have my couches in there. So I put my couches in there. Um... My boys' bedroom set, they got a new bedroom set. What else? I got a dining room set, a china cabinet. What else? Christmas trees, Christmas decorations, some little odds and ends decorations that I was picking up from um, Ross and other little stores. I had to stop myself from going to them stores because I was picking up stuff and really, I mean, how you pack it and then you buy more stuff that need to be packed up. So I went ahead and put my, I pumped my brakes on it. But I can't wait to get settled and everything because then I can look at my walls and my canvas and stuff and see what I need to get. And I'm gonna take y'all along with me on that. But that's all I wanna let y'all know is that I was riding in a moving basketball and then we're ready to start this moving process. I'll let y'all see a little bit of us doing the manual labor. Good morning, everybody. It is really early. Um, it is 7.46. I got up at about seven, a little bit after seven to take me a shower and get myself situated if y'all don't know me i'm not a morning person at all but i just wanted to get on here and just kind of make sure i keep you guys updated on the vlog i look really sleepy <laughs> and that's i mean i had a good night's rest but i woke up at about 4 15 and couldn't go back to sleep so i didn't stay up long but you know how when you had that break in your sleep it'll mess you up anyway i'm headed to lowe's because we have maybe two boxes worth of stuff that has not been packed and this is stuff that was in the house when we was um, just living. This is the first time I've ever did a move to well. I packed up, waited, stayed another night and then moved. So normally I would pack up everything that night, get up and get ready that morning, pack everything up, go to the new place, unpack the essentials, stay that night and start. But this is just different for me. I guess, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm getting a little older. I'm not old, but I'm getting older, so. You can't move like you did. And then I got two kids now and a pregnant wife, so all of that stuff played into it. Anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know what I was doing. I'm gonna get some boxes. I probably put a small tour on the next video, or next week's video, because a lot of local people watch my YouTube channel, especially the main one with the events, and I mean, I don't know, just for safety reasons, you know? And I don't want nobody to run up and get done up. <laughs> Cause at the end of the day, I'm gonna protect my family. So that's all y'all. So I'll let y'all see a little something, something. And then, like I said, we'll just keep on keeping on. Y'all stay blessed and y'all stay tuned for the rest of this video, just a small portion.